My name is Ivan and I'm working on Blow and Fly, a physics-based platformer in which you move and aim at the same time. What you see on the screen is how this game looks like right now, but obviously it hasn't always been like that. I started working on this game on the 24th of December 2020, which is... Uh, 10 months ago. During that time I recorded a lot of videos, and in this devlog series I'm going to share them with you. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Forty Pants. <laughs> yep, that's right, at the end of 2020 this is what I wanted to do. The thing about me is that I love tiny, silly little games. And at the end of 2020, just one week before the new year, I wanted to make something stupid, and I wanted to make it fast, like in two weeks or so. Now, what comes to your mind when you think about something stupid, silly, maybe something that kids would laugh at? Well, maybe it's just me, but... <coughs> farting? And that is how I started making Mr. Farty Pants, a rage-inducing platformer in which the character really needs to go to the toilet, but can only move around by pushing the air out of... <coughs> you know where. The very first thing I try to focus on in my prototypes is making the game character feel good. If you watch videos by Game Makers Toolkit or other game dev related channels, then you probably already know what I'm talking about. But if not, it basically means that you need to make sure that the main elements of your game are fun to interact with without the art, the music, the sound effects and all of the other fancy things. Now you might ask, what are the main elements of the game? In my case, I'm making a platformer. It means that the player is going to spend most of their time either moving, jumping or well, platforming. So before I started making levels, I tried to tweak character speed, jump height, friction, mass, and so on. And while I was jumping around and trying to see whether I liked it or not, I realized that I can actually pogo jump. When I realized that I can hold the jump button down and change direction while in the midair, I tried to focus on that, because that felt good to me. Finally, I was just sick of looking at the camera moving all over the place, and I decided to confine it with the level borders. And that's it, that was the first and the most important day in the life of this project. I finished this prototype in 6 hours and 15 minutes. But there's a lot more I want to share about this game. If you'd like to see the future episodes of this devlog, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you are feeling generous and you'd like to support me and my projects, I have a Patreon page where I share behind the scenes of how I'm making Blow and Fly and other games for as little as $1 per month. And that's it for today, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.